38 Ford four-door sedan that uh, would be a great family cruiser. It's got a rebuilt Ford flathead engine in it and all the, all the chrome and the upholstery's all been redone. All it needs now is paint to be good for another 125,000 miles. Hi, I'm Jim Braystead and I'm out here at the uh, Cajon Classic Cruise tonight with my 65 Buick Skylark. Very nice car, 300 cubic inch V8, factory four speed. This is an early car before the GS started in 65. Used to uh, live out here in the Navy and all the families back in the Midwest. And so we used to drive the old Highway 80 up through Pine Valley and Plaster City and all the way back to Missouri on the old two lane highways. Do about once every year for 30 years, I guess. <laughs> well, we didn't know any better at those days, so it was just the highway to us, you know. I mean, the interstates were kind of not heard of at that time, and had a little turnpike from Joplin to Tulsa, but uh, pretty much the old highways were all you had. When you're out on a vacation, you're out on the road, Arizona, hot states, you'd see these bags hanging off the front of all the old cars. They were like about I don't know, 12 and, a half, 12 and a half inches wide. They were full of water and it was good because there were, people weren't used to the hills and the cars back in those days didn't run as cool as they do now. So uh, with the uh, bag out there keeping it cool, if you got halfway up a mountain and your car got hot, you just pulled over, took the bag off the front and dumped it in the radiator and away you went. The first gas station you come to, you fill it up again, Get ready for the next one. It's a 1964 Ford Ranchero. It has a beefed up 302, been punched out 306, around 375 horse and 125 shot of nitrous. It was built for drag racing and then I bought it from the guy that originally raced it and put it back to drive on the street. Plus, I, I, I do street legal, drag racing.